Hello and welcome back to The Broken Doll and today I come to you with a video about two dolls I just got in. I got this one yesterday and I got another one today. I did make a video earlier but it just wasn't the way I liked it. So we're going to try again. So let's talk about this lovely little doll here. Now just to let you know I am making my first video out in my shop here for you. So anyways, I got this doll. I have the body for it. I took the, the doll doll's head off the body. And I got this lovely little guy in yesterday. The thing is about him, he is marked. But I didn't know what his marks were. I've never seen him before. Never had to deal with this, this uh, uh, company. I've never seen it before. So it's all new to me. But I love this doll. I think it's going to turn out beautiful when it's, once it's restored. Um... Let's take a look and see the back of its neck. Now I'm going to bring it up close to you. I had to take the chisel the paint off. Just pick away at the paint. Okay. Can you see? I got this. Let's go back out. All right. Now we can see the marks. Now you can see the marks very faintly in these three little circles. Okay. What they're saying is, if you can see them with me, it says K. And then this is supposed to stand for and W, K and W. It says four, no, that could be a slash or 1048. I think there's a slash in here as well. So it could be four slash zero slash 48. Now it doesn't stand for October, uh, for, uh, the 4th of October of 48 or whatever way you want to put it, uh, April uh, 10th of 48, that has nothing to do with it. This company here ended in 1935. So they made dolls from 1911 to 1935. Now, his eyes are, now let's bring this back up again. Okay. His eyes are glass blown. Now you can see that they're not facing the right direction. He does have a problem with his eyes. They're a little bit, bit on the wonky side. I'm not sure as to what really happened to his eyes. I've been playing around with them. The lids wouldn't even close at the time. Now they're, I got uh, stuffing up inside so they don't bang around because I don't want them to break because they are glass. So we'll take out my stuffing right now and we'll put this back in later. He's going to need quite the fixing. Um, even body-wise, he needs some fixing here, but um, he, as, uh, let's see if we can get you to, we're going to zoom back out again. We have to zoom back out. I should have done this. All right. Now, I want you to see up inside here. This is the knocker, or the rocker, but the, the knocker here, what do you want to call it, hits this little piece of uh, felt here, which is worn right out. That's going to have to come off. You can see it there. We're going to have to pull that out and put a nice piece of padding there. Usually, it's cork, or it's a thick piece of felt. The felt is just worn right out. Um, that's why when the eyes close, it can really make a, a... Hear that? We don't want to hear that when it comes to our dolls. We want that to be a nice soft padded area in there. In there. So we want, what we would like to do to that is put new... Double up the... Like cut a little square out, put it in there, glue it, then put another one on top. You can put them, glue them on top of one another outside and then glue them together as one or you can put one in and then another, however you like to do it. It needs to be a little bit thicker than this. This is worn right out. You can see maybe it had a color at one time. It's faded out. I don't know, but whatever the case may be, it's ready to come out anyhow. Um, the other thing I want you to notice about this doll is there does seem to be a seam that did run across the top of the head. Can you see there's a, a seam? Usually the seams are very pr pronounced um, in when it comes to uh, composition dolls. Now, I'm not sure if he's composition or not because I can't... Usually what we see when it comes to composition dolls, we see a splice right here. They're usually back to front put together. Now, the thing is, usually we see a slice right in here and we see a slice right in here where the two have joined because down here, we don't normally see this part. It's hidden... The, the flange is actually hidden down inside the body and the head turns back and forth. Well, the thing is, we don't see that in here. It's very well hidden. Um, it does look like there was even a split if they sealed it from the inside the head they could have I'm not too sure what the what they did in here or it was just one piece but with this seam running across it seems like there was something up in here but I cannot take its head apart 
uh, I will not do it, actually. I just don't want to even challenge that one. I think I'll cause more damage to the doll than anything. So we're going to keep it as whole. I'm not going to take these eyes out, but I, they do need to be fixed. As you can see, the glass eyes are not facing the right way. We can't even see the color of the eyes. He has pretty blue eyes. Let's bring this back up again. All right. And let's see if we can turn those eyes around a little bit. If I can get my, there we go. Now you can see they've been pushed back as well. I don't know if that was done by Ed, somebody playing around with the doll or was it just age that has done that to the doll? But there's his pretty blue eyes. I hope you can see those in the camera there. There we go. Now he is supposed to have flirty eyes, eyes that go back and forth. But what I need to do is, is get his eyes pushed back. There's little wires in there. If I, I've been manipulating them and actually his eyes are a little bit better than when I got him. So the more I manipulate those little wires in there, the better they, they're, it, the eyes are becoming. So it's just a matter of time of me playing around with the, the wires. There's little wires, like I say, and as I play around with them, they're, they're coming forward and hopefully I can get them to go back to being flirty eyes. I did find this doll on eBay. Now, what does KW or yeah, KW stand for? It stands for Con, Conig, K-O-N-I-G and Wenrick. W-E-N-R-I-C-K-E. -E. Now, this doll could be marked, this doll was found to be marked K and W. Sometimes it was found K and W, W. Sometimes it was K and W with a turtle. There's always, it seems to be numbers underneath. This is a German made doll. So he's a little German baby, uh, baby boy or girl. So anyways, um, I got him off of eBay from somebody in the States and um, I, I just saw a gorgeous little baby doll here. Let's take a look at his body. I'm gonna put his head to the back. His body is quite the unique little body here. Um, first, my first inten um, intentions were get rid of that body and put a new one on it. But nope, I am not going to do that. I think I prefer to keep that body on him. Let's push this back a bit so you can see him completely. I liked his body the way it is. Reasons for it is, I'm going to tell you right now. I don't think I could copy this body for him. The reason is, is that these arms are inset into the body itself. If we were, we'll, we'll use a leg instead here. This leg here is really a good way of looking at it. If we look at this here, he has inset legs. Um, this has all been worked and created to fit these legs to inset into the body. Though his body is pretty rough, I understand that. I have alternatives that I can look at. I have different ways I can look at him and see what I can do for him. First thing I could do is leave his body the way it is and just go with it and dress him afterwards. I fix his arms and legs up, take his arms and legs off, fix them up, put them back on and leave his body the way it is, which I can, which I can do. My second thing is, is to leave it still the same way as it is and make a skin to go over it. Now, that's an alternative. You can buy skins through doll parts supplies. I have one here, a doll skin it's called, but it's for a flop doll. I was looking at it and wondering maybe I could take that skin and make it so that um, it, like, take it, like, sew it up in such a way that it would fit him. But I don't want it to hurt his arms and legs because of the inset. Or I can take the skin off, and I really do believe his body is so well packed that what I could do with him is, is take this body off, just like this, not unstuff him, leave the stuffing the way it is, make a new body, and put it back over, like back on again type of thing. Those are some things I could do. I haven't made any decision at this time what I want to do with him. My... First feelings are this. I like to leave him the way he is, sew up the little areas that are ripped and just and maybe put new material on. It might be of a different color and just fix what's there. That's where I'm heading right now with him. I don't want to play too much around as far as, as his body because it is made for him. The artwork on his body was created in, in, from the German manufacturers. I would love to leave it the way it is, which is where I'm going to go with that. Fix his composition up. Um, that's about all I want to do. And display him. And I think he could turn out to be a very lovely little uh, girl or boy doll. 
I keep boy. I don't know. I just do. I, I, I've been calling him um, him, 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 he, he, he. So there you go. All right. So that's where I am with this little gaffer. Now let's go to the next doll that I got today. This one came in today. All right. Let me show you. I have the box here. I, may, I did do a box opening. I can't show you the front because it has my name on it and address. But anyways, this doll came in here. And this is the doll that I got. And in my first video, I took off the britches off this doll. This is Trudy. I've been wanting a Trudy doll for quite some time. Now, Trudy comes in two different ways. Um, it was constructed in two different ways, with composition legs or with the cloth legs. I wanted the composition legs. But now that I've got this, this one was the right price for me. And when I saw that it had the cloth legs, I find that the cuddling factor for this doll is so much higher than what it would be if it had composition legs. There's just a nice softness to this doll, um, being that it's old cloth too at that. But it's just su such a cozy little doll. Now, what does this doll, now for those who don't know, this is a three-faced doll. Um, you turn the top. Now, this is all original up here. Now, I think all these clothing, the clothing matches all the blue. So this is its original clothing, which is just pretty much shot. She's supposed to be like inside the seams of the hat. There were supposed to be little tufts of blonde hair coming out. So I am going to have to carefully take this apart, make a pattern off of this, and then re-sew this back on, and then you get to see the three faces. So holding the doll, I'm going to try to see if I can get her to turn. We have happy. I don't know if I can get her to do it. There we go. Sleepy or sleeping. And then wailing her little heart out. Let's see if we can get her to turn. This way it's better sometimes. There we go. And she's just crying her heart. She wants to be fed. Trudy wants to be fed. But um, such a beautiful doll. I'm not sure who made her. Um, I'm not up on that part of it yet. I haven't done any looking into her. I, I, I'm going to say ideal, but I may be wrong. Um, maybe horseman, but I think it was ideal. Mm, I could be wrong. Like I say, it doesn't sit right with me right now. But um, that being said, anybody out there who knows who made Trudy, you can correct me down below in the comments. I will not be offended. Because I have not looked into her. I was looking more into this guy, this little German baby, more than I did her. But um, I needed to look that up, but I didn't get around to it today. But she's quite the quaint little doll. I love the three-faced dolls. I have several of them. And uh, she'll sit among them once she's restored. Um, like I say, her little jacket is very much done. Um, her clothing is done. It will not go, like this will all stay with her. Um, I'll clean it and we'll put it in a nice little bag for her. Her hat will stay with her. Um, all this will stay and remain with her, but I will be making her a new little outfit. But I think she's quite a cute little thing. Um, I hope you enjoy her, seeing her, and her restoration should be lots of fun with three faces to do, let alone one. <laughs> it's going to be a challenge here, but you know something, I'm, I'm up and ready for the challenge. But anyhow, I thought I'd share this with you and making my first doll box opening out here in my shop. I'm out here tonight. And I'm going to be doing some painting. I'm just relaxing for the rest of my evening. And I'm going to paint, do some last painting that needs to be done in here. But anyways, there we go. Everybody have a great Easter. Uh, enjoy. If you're, in, if you're um, doing a big family to do, gr good. Enjoy the food. Enjoy the get-together. And thank God for God giving His Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins. You can ask Jesus at any time to ask for forgiveness, and he will forgive you. And for those that are also uh, worshiping through Passover, um, have a great Passover to those as well. So I'm just leaving that message out there for everybody, and um, God bless everybody, and have a great Easter and Passover celebration. And have a great weekend as well for those who don't. I do not mind, but I'm just talking to those who do. But have a great time, everybody. And uh, thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.